it's already that time again with what only just seemed to be the ReZero rerun. We are back with another collab being the Rising of the Shield Hero collab. Now, a lot better banner than we are used to seeing for these collab characters. I mean, having characters like Freya and Miguel, that alone makes this banner so much more valuable. Of course, they did go after head and bring the Blue Demon Meliodas and the Green Eskinal. Obviously, super sought out characters, but I'm really hoping my summons go a lot better for this one. And whenever these collab characters come out, there is always super, super high demand. And I mean, you don't really want to miss out on the characters. Obviously, there is always going to be a rerun, all that kind of stuff. You're going to get a second chance to go ahead and get the characters. Hey, starting off with an SSR, this doesn't usually happen. Unfortunately, due to the, nat oh, the nature, I should say, of the banner and having maybe four new characters, unfortunately, we can't one and done. The I mean, by all means, we could go ahead and pull all four of the characters in this summon, but that is pretty much impossible. So, I know, definitely looking to get a couple dupes. I may go for a second rotation on the banner. We'll just have to see how things go. I think that one's right at the end of the summon, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, may go for that second rotation. We have the 60 tickets then. I think around 8, 900 gems, so we'll burn through most of those, not all of those, in today's video. Starting off with a Freya, man. And this is what I was going to go ahead and say is every single character in the banner that isn't those four new characters is already 6 6, so that Freya dupe is going straight into Super Awakening. I mean, Super Awakening for new characters can be super expensive as well, so I'm not complaining. The more SSRs we get, the merrier. Yeah, four new characters, super excited. Already gotten all of their gear sets built out, or I've at least gotten three of the four gear sets built out. I'm not too sure if I'm going to head and do the, is it Kazuna or something like that? I don't fully remember now. I'll see if I can go ahead and bring that one up now. I wanted to go ahead and say Kazuya, but definitely not it. Uh, Kizuna, that's the one. But yeah, I haven't built hers out yet. She is more of a free to play unit, however, or I should say a PVE unit. She is of course free to play with all of the missions, that kind of stuff. I don't know, man. She seems she seems fun, but definitely nowhere near as good as the Naofumi, Raftalia, and the Feeler. They're absolutely crazy kits. I'm so glad that they're starting to give these exclusive characters really, really good kits. Because, I mean, although you are going to summon for the exclusive characters anyways, you still want to be able to use them in some forms of content. I mean, look at all of the collaboration characters we've received previously. Characters like Amelia completely owned the meta at one point when the Lolly Melon released. We've had characters like Terry and Reinhardt, who... <clears throat> Reinhardt still to this day is definitely one of the strongest characters in the game. The Barn team didn't even need a revival, but he has definitely made that team so much stronger. So RNG dependent as well. You can be at a complete loss in a match and he can turn that match entirely by his passives or even just getting lucky with some of those crits on the flood card. <clears throat> Here we go, another SSR though. Surely we can at least get a couple of these. I'd like to be able to get everyone in the first rotation. We do of course have the guaranteed SSR tickets, so I think after we get our first SSR, we might go ahead and burn that one. Definitely want to burn that before I do the selector though. See who we can get, but yeah, I haven't gone ahead and watched any showcases, anything like that. So Nafumi, Raftalia, all their kind of initial reactions will be completely, completely genuine. Let's see though. Surely, I'd like to go ahead and not skip any of these units either, because I feel like I've been on a pretty good streak of not skipping the animations, but... Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. Okay, Excalibur Arthur also, 6-6. <clears throat> Yeah, I've been on a really hot streak of not skipping characters, and I think it was the most recent banner, it might have been, where I went ahead and see Not usually like me to do it, it was a completely terrible animation was showing no hope whatsoever. Kind of like this here. But you know, that's where we actually go ahead and get our R medals, so... Hey, we've gone ahead and finally burnt through all the tickets. Do you want to just go ahead and burn the SSR? Select it now, we might as well, why not? We'll see who we get. I don't know if alt levels are super important on any of these characters either, so and it's more so just for CC, all that kind of stuff. Having more characters in the game with those triple uh, defense sets as well is really nice. I'm not too sure. I've already gone ahead and built triple defense sets, but I have heard people say that the Nafumi and Raftalia are a lot better on crit chance rolls instead of attack rolls. It does make sense them being able to do more damage, all that kind of stuff, since they're not doing damage based off their attack stat, but at the same time, you end up missing out on so much CC, and being a triple defense character, you're already missing out on a ton of CC as it is. Let's see who we're gonna get. You gotta be kidding me, man. The one free unit. Oh god, this is, this is just my luck coming through right here. I mean, hey, I'll take it. That's, that's two six by the end of this, and obviously with four new characters as well, a whole lot of extra box CC. We're just shy of the halfway to 11 million, so that's going to be crazy. Cannot wait for that to happen. I'll definitely go ahead and do a box showcase sometime in the near future, because it's something I've been wanting to do for quite some time, but 
all these new collab characters keep coming in and I feel like my account progression has been on a really steady pace. I still have to go ahead and get a lot of the Holy Relics done and stuff like that. I don't know, I still do strongly believe that the Demonic Beast battles are the greatest content we've got in the game. However, going ahead and grinding them can be a little bit of time, especially considering how many characters there are in the game. It takes ages, and I mean ages, to go ahead and get them all done. I even did a video where I went ahead and played Bird for 10 hours straight, and they got me like two, maybe three Holy Relics, so man, if I take my hat off to all those people that have gone ahead and grinded out every single one, especially all of the ones for Skull and Hardy, because I'll go ahead and finish stage one and stage two each week, but the RNG on that final stage is so goddamn annoying, man. First animation, or first Eskinaw animation, I'd say, of the video. Don't think we've got any Shield Hero animations. I'm sure if we did, there would be something like that. I also highly doubt they do animation for Shield Hero, but any new animations with the update. It's been, what, two years, I believe, since we've had any animations, so... I was hoping they'd give us some with third year. Who knows, maybe we might get lucky and for fourth year we'll be able to get a new animations of sort, because, I mean, this is what we spend our money on here, right? These animations, these godly characters. Come on, man. Can we get a, can we maybe get a triple SSR? We'd be kind of fire. I mean, we're guaranteed getting two, so at least one new shield hero character in this summon. Perfect. Looks like there's going to be pretty early on. Let's see it, man. Obviously, you want heaps of alt levels in now, Fumi. Are they all AoE ultimates? I believe so. I have to go ahead and check that on real quick. Now, Fumi. Da, 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 da. Where did the ultimate go here? On the enemy. It doesn't actually go ahead and say. Okay. Mm, I might have to go ahead and wait and see what happens when I showcase them. No SSRs. Yeah, maybe I was wrong. Maybe they're all a bit later in the summon here. No fake outs like that, I'm assuming, either. Oh, surely not another Excalibur Arthur. I think I've got one or two more until the next SSR. Get all these Hugos out of the way. Come on, Netmarble. We can't be this deep. Still with no new SSRs from the actual banner side of things. Please. Oh, man. This is... This is what I get for saying Shield Hero was a bad anime back in the day. Oh, my. I still haven't watched Shield Hero for all the you who don't know, but... Oh man, that is... <laughs> I take it back, I'll go ahead and watch Shiro, please. Shiro? I'll go ahead and watch Shield Hero, please. Just give me some good summons, man. Uh, I don't want to spend more money on this game. Bro, I'm already out of pocket with the Gamma 1 and 2 summons. I ended up having to do a little bit further on those than I would have liked. I also just wasn't going to leave the banner without the two of them. I'm fortunate enough to have not gotten any dupes on either of them. Ended up getting them both. First copy. Oh, this is, this is devastating. Come on, and then this one here, give us a uh, Nafumi. <sighs> Jesus, man, we may end up going halfway into the next rotation in this video as well, just to try and secure us some more characters. As if from the SSR guaranteed ticket, I ended up getting a character that was free to play. Actually heartbreaking, come on, man. Yeah, other than that, I don't think we have any bosses, anything like that, with this new update. We do finally have the Tonar costume from the Hot Class as well, which is really, really sick. Um, I do know we have the new Labyrinth, which is apparently super, super easy if you just go ahead and use the new Shield Hero characters. I'm guessing they're buffed due to the whole kind of celebration that's going on, all that kind of stuff, so definitely going to go ahead and do that one. I never ended up finishing the last Labyrinth when it came around. I got most of the way through it, but just ended up getting stuck on some of the last phases. I think it was the droll that I ended up getting really hard stuck on. Oh, damn. I also really like some of the costumes these characters come with. healer has got the one where she's dressed up as a bird. Absolutely fire. We've got an eye flash into a counter. Please. Oh man, what is all the SSR, or all the SR coins, sorry for Super Awakening. God damn. Please, sun in the sky. Anything? Watch me skip this and this be an SSR. Okay, at that point I was just hoping for <laughs> hoping for some kind of luck to come through. God damn, man. I don't know why they didn't give us any bosses or anything like that. There's a couple of new bundles, all that kind of stuff. All the Holy Relics for the characters look really, really sick. God damn, because they did it with ReZero Rerun. They've done it with the majority of them. I mean, a we definitely got the World Raid boss with the Titan, which I don't know, I'm not too big a fan of all of the world bosses. I, especially once you get to a certain point in the game, you can kind of order them, which makes them... A little bit less of a hassle, but they end up taking so goddamn long to complete those. What is this? Are we on five, six, seven multis, something like that, without an SSR? I think pretty much this whole second half of the summons have just been fodder. Please? 
anything, Netmar, but you can't be doing this. What was the last bit? I don't think I had good luck on the last banner as well. Because the one before that would have been the first mail, which I did lock out a little bit. In saying that, I did only get the mail on 6. There was more of these side banner units that I ended up getting a lot of. Damn, last, last multi on the first rotation without a single shield hero unit. Please let this be the turnaround point because, oh man, I really need this to be a double SSR or something like that. I mean, if we could get two of the shield hero characters in this one summon, that'd be perfect, but... Oh, come on, man. <laughs> what is this game, bro? I always get so much better luck summoning other games. At least you can get the guaranteed stuff in this one, which is definitely one of the reasons why Grand Cross is such a good gacha. I think this might be the first one. There is also a pretty high chance of a fake out happening here. Saw quite a few SLs on the left side. Please, man. Oh, God. Oh, no. So, I definitely wasn't planning to go into the second rotation like this. Any character we choose here could be a mistake. I think we're going to choose now Fumi. I think him being the main character, like kind of stuff, he's probably going to be the strongest. Once again, I haven't seen any showcases, anything like that. We just need to hope we don't get any Nafumi or any more of the Kizuna, is it? Dupes? Man, another shaft. Uh, yeah, it's the Kizuna. Okay, I'll try my hardest to remember that one. There's no way. There's no way I go back to the shop and end up buying more bundles. It is impossible, right? This would definitely be, if I have to go two rotations just to get all the characters, this will definitely be the dirtiest I've ever been done on a banner. Because I think, especially on the Scardi banner when she released with the Celestial Light, I went the one rotation, but I knew the Elate was going to be back on enough banners, and she was only really a Nightwood character anyway. Impossible to show in PvP in a sense, so I was completely fine with skipping out on her, but when there's four characters up for grabs, it just ends up being a little bit scarier. That Selector could go very wrong so, so quickly. I remember when the... What is it? The Stranger Things collab came out. I ended up spending all of my dupes and putting them into characters, and I was still missing one of them. If I'd have been Mike who I was missing, and I completely forgot I could exchange the dupes for just a copy of Mike, which in the long run I did end up getting, you know, a 6 6 Jim Hopper, all that kind of stuff, so I'm alright with it now, but back then I felt so stupid for going ahead and making that mistake. At this point, I should just go ahead and reset the seed as well. So we stop getting garbage like this. Oh man, I mean realistically as long as I get one of the summonable units before this next 600 I can just go ahead and get the guaranteed selector again. Make it the character that I'm missing from the collab. What is, there is no way you guys are having summons this bad as well, right? Is it because I'm summoning so far away from launch? Because I do really like to try and summon the second the banner comes out. It's a bit hard to work for that kind of stuff. I end up getting home three hours or so after the banner launches. A lot of Golgius in that one. Wow. I mean, if you guys are summoning, which I'd highly recommend doing so, it's a good banner, cool new characters. I really hope it's going a lot better than this. Oh, perfect. Our first animation in God knows how long now. Please, man. Please, Philo or Raftalia. We so badly need it at this point. Also, I went ahead and hopped on my YouTube today. Um, it seems like the layout's changed, that kind of stuff. It's a lot more bubbly. Let me know if that's happened to any of you guys as well, because I don't know if I like it as of yet, or if I know, I'm still kind of transitioning, getting used to it, but I don't know, it's definitely different. Well, like I said, it's not a huge HUD change or anything like that, but it's always cool to see them do stuff like that. Come on, we'll try and skip through all of these body units just a little bit faster. I mean, it's good that the SRs and Rs in this game aren't as fodder compared to other games. Dude, this Arthur is actually haunting me. That's three copies of him in these summons alone. And it's not even like the SSR rate's been super high or anything like that anyways. Oh, thank God. Eskinor is blessing us, finally. <laughs> Man, this really needs to be a triple. At this point, I'm still so down with how that first rotation went. Could I even be hyped with a triple SSR? Surely. Surely, man. Rainbow text, let's go. Eskinol, time to bring these summons back around. Completely turn the... <laughs> I'm just sitting in sorrow in this chair right now. I was so hyped all day to get back home and do these summons, and it just turned out garbage. Please. 
How many are we gonna get? Lots of chances for a fake out. Okay, hold on. I was really expecting that to be one there. And then this should be SSR. Oh no, still haven't learned how the, how the wheel works. Gil Thunder, I do need to go ahead and level up the blue Gil Thunder as well. He's going to be used in a lot of the more recent showcases, so might have to hammer out his gear just a little bit more as well. We're going to get to use characters like the Best King and Blue Tarmiel as well again for the first time in a while, so very excited to see those used around a lot of those mono blue teams, which would be great because considering how much Balm and Reinhardt you see in the meta, you can finally be able to stomp those teams, even when you're trying to counter them. They can still end up on top somehow. I knew it, dude. I was going to pick Nafumi and he was going to be the character we get. Oh, as long as this is someone else. I meant another Shield Hero character. Okay. We've still got a couple more summons. We have still definitely got a couple more under our belt. Another blue time, y'all. Please. Please. Okay, let's go. We'll take that. We're 100%. So we only need Raftalia now. We've got three more summons. I could probably go ahead and find three gems somewhere if I really needed to. Before we have to go ahead and buy more. <laughs> As if it got to this point. We've got a shaft. I mean, it'll only... If, what? A final rotation probably goes for like $125, something like that, to finish off this rotation. I flash. Another shafted multi. I think my phone's dead as well. I'm gonna have to go ahead and charge it. And then let's see here. I might quickly, I might quickly see if there's three gems or something I can find, and then we'll do one more summon. See if I have to buy more. I mean, I did have a couple dailies to do, so that was nice and easy to get. I still can't believe we got to this point, man. Cannot believe it. We skip, and then we go ahead and buy more tickets. Let's let's close the app and. Go ahead and finish this off. I mean, do we go ahead and call these summons rock bottom? Because, God, I mean, at least there's not going to be any banners coming out, anything like that, for the next week or so. So we'll go ahead and get to enjoy these characters a whole bunch. Still really hoping I can get, stick to the two videos per day kind of thing, especially with coming, you know, going over or going out, I should say, over the weekend. It does get a little bit hard to fit in, what, something like 14 videos over five days. So it can be a little bit tough to go ahead and get that done, but. We'll see, we'll try our best. Man, even after resetting the seed and buying, giving Netmarble more juicy money, they still want to go ahead and treat me like this. If I was free to play, I would be... <laughs> I say if I was free to play, I am still heartbroken. Do not get me wrong. Are we really? Are we really doing this, Netmarble? I can... How am I supposed to promote your game when it does me like this? This has been absolutely disgusting. And you're the one I need. Okay, sweet. No more tickets. I mean, we have 100 gems for whatever banner comes out next, but there we go. My least exciting, worst, worst SSR rate, worst having to spend gems to get all the character summons ever. We're, of course, still missing the green some reason. They just never release her on banners, so who knows when I'll go ahead and get her. And then the top 100 characters, they're a bit of a grind to get, so I may go ahead and grind them when they come back out again. I did just go ahead and miss the Wailu, I believe, but who knows? We'll, we'll definitely get him one day. Once again, that is about to say that is it. But once again, that is about does it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If so, please hit like button, subscribe. Really means a lot to me, and I'll see you guys for some more Grand Cross content.